Adobe After Effects. One of the most powerful programs in our arsenal. They got a bunch of new features. Let's see what they got next. No Film School's NAB 2023 coverage is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Lexar, live for the memory. Hey everybody, I'm here with Victoria. We're at the Adobe booth. She's an After Effects maestra, to use my Italian, and she's going to explain to us some of the new features, what's happening, what are you seeing, what, what, what's, what is here to get excited about, I know there's something. We've got some really big stuff coming. The thing I'm most excited about, and this is coming in our May release, is the properties panel. And so whether you're somebody who's been using After Effects for years, or you're totally new and you're coming in from Photoshop and you don't know the first thing about motion design, it's going to make your workflow faster, it's going to make things easier to learn and it just makes the app contextual. So if I wanted to start updating this lower third here, and I want to change the color of this little zigzag line. Well, the old way of doing it, I'd be twirling and twirling and twirling and twirling and wait, not that one, it's this one. Finally, I find that little button. Or with the properties panel, I click on this, it's right here. And it's fully contextual. So for shapes, you get shape properties. If I click on the text layers, I get text properties. Uh, if I have animation enabled, I start looking at my keyframes, it's going to show you those keyframes in the timeline. Oh, wow. So it's super fast for navigation. And anything you're doing in After Effects, it's just going to show you what you need. So maybe I've got a pre-comp and I have essential properties on it. Those will show up. And here I've got my layer transforms. It's just surfacing the stuff you actually care about and bringing that to the top level so you don't have to go digging for things. And like you know what it's like, you get somebody else's project, and where even is that thing? Well, now it's right here. You want to see a sneak peek at something pretty cool? I do. We have 3D model import coming, and some of this is in beta now, so this is a true 3D model wow. in After Effects, but there's a lot more where this came from. Okay. So okay. we're really okay. excited about bringing in 3D as a first-class citizen alongside everything you're doing in 2D, your text, your shapes, all that stuff you can already do in After Effects. Having 3D is another asset type, and so we're going to have that rich motion graphics end-to-end -end experience. And I, that's one I'm really excited about. Let's talk about Color I.O. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's the other one I really want to head on because this is something for people who are in those big pipelines, animation, VFX, okay. where you have stuff coming in from other apps, a million different cameras coming in. And Open Color I.O. is going to give you this way simpler workflow for okay. color. Color management has always been like, you need to be a color scientist. Yeah. Yeah. And with OCIO, it literally is as simple as I open my color settings and I switch to OCIO Color Manage. I say OK. Oh, let's actually do it. I just say OK, and now I've got my options. I can choose my ACES space I want to work in, so you get that super wide color gamut. Great. You just This sets everything up for you, and it makes it really, really easy to be a part of that bigger pipeline to ingest things, hand things off, and ensure that your color is going to look the same across the board. So the, that's already available, too. OK, uh, so Color I.O. available. Coming soon in May, we got Properties Panel, and future, future, future. 3D objects. Got a lot of stuff happening here at After Effects. Victoria, thank you so much. Thank you.